Trey Hatch. Welcome to another recipe from Daily Fuel. Today's is probably the quickest recipe in the book. It's five minute lemon hummus. And just to get started, there's a couple of things we need. We need some fresh lemon juice. And I just wanted to show you probably the easiest way to get lemon juice out. And that's to take your lemons, have them at room temperature. If they're just out of the fridge and they're super cold, pop them in the microwave for about 10 to 20 seconds to get them to room temperature and then give them a good roll. And this helps break down all those membranes inside and let all that juice out. And then you can already see it's already starting to render juice. And then use one of these. This is a lemon reamer that you can buy them in plastic, but the wood grips these little membranes better. And you just use it like this and get all that lemon juice out. So I've got about enough in here already. The other ingredients we're gonna need is a little bit of cayenne pepper and some cumin. Now, you can buy ground cumin, but cumin is a seed. It has a lot of essential oil in it. And when you take the time to grind it, you can use an old coffee grinder or literally put it in a baggie and pound it with um, uh, something hard and heavy, like a can, like a soup can, pound it. But I love to use my mortar and pestle, and it's so fragrant and aromatic. You can't believe how much less cumin you really need. And you get more for your money just because you get lots of flavor. So we have the lemon juice, the cumin, the cayenne. I'm gonna use a couple of cloves of fresh garlic. And this is the real punch in hummus. So you're gonna definitely want some nice garlic, a little bit of salt, olive oil, and garbanzo beans, and we're ready to rock. So moving over to the processor, if you wanna take fresh garbanzo beans and use them, that's fantastic. If they're just fresh out of your garden or you're at the farmer's market, you can find them. Or if you wanna take dried garbanzos and rehydrate them. Wonderful. For speed and ease, you can't beat canned garbanzo beans. I have two cans. One of them, I've just simply drained the water out. The other, I leave the water in, just so I have enough liquid in my hummus. And then in goes my cumin, in goes my lemon juice, little cayenne pepper, and just a bit of salt. It needs a surprising amount of salt, all beans do. I don't know why. That's it. Put the cover on. Now, we haven't added our olive oil yet. The smoother we can puree this mixture with the beans right now, the smoother mouth feel the finished hummus will be. So, let's go ahead and pulse it to combine. You can do this in a blender if you don't have a processor. But go ahead and let's let this blend for about a minute and then we'll return to it, put our olive oil in and check for seasoning. Okay, let's check our hummus and see if it's smooth enough. Very nice, really nice and smooth. That means it's time to add our olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the motor running. And while it's running, we drizzle in our olive oil. And now we check for seasoning. It needs a pinch more salt. It needs a pinch more garlic. And a touch more of the cayenne. Cayenne is hot and spicy. It's the capsicum, which is the compound in chilies that heats our mouths and makes it hot in our mouths. If you use just the right amount of capsicum in chilies, you warm the taste buds and they can taste more. It actually elevates the taste without you ever perceiving a sense of actual heat in your mouth. And that's what we're going for in this recipe. We're not trying to make hummus uh, hot on the tongue, but just really robust and bring out the flavors of that garlic and that lemon. So I've added my garlic, I've added my lemon, I've added my salt, my cumin, my cayenne. Adjust those flavors. Don't be afraid to taste your food. We poured in our olive oil and adjust with the flavors. This should just be about ready. All right. It's perfect. Bright, garlicky, lemony. Just a little bit of that earthy tone from the cumin. 
and a little bit of warmth, just a touch of warmth from the cayenne. No one would ever think it had any hot, hot spicy pepper in it. So let's taste this with some yummy fresh vegetables. Once you've got your five minute lemon hummus made, and you've adjusted the seasonings, you're ready to present it. You can refrigerate it. It lasts for about a week in the refrigerator, and it actually does develop flavor overnight. So it's a great recipe if you've got to bring something and you don't want to be rushed. You can make it a day ahead. So now let's just garnish it, and my favorite way to do that is just to sprinkle on a touch of cayenne pepper in the middle, or some more ground cumin, and then to garnish the top with just the slightest drizzle of olive oil. And it just adds a little visual appeal to the entire dish. You can serve it with chips, you can serve it with fresh cut vegetables, which is my favorite. I love serving it with tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchini st uh, sticks, carrot sticks. Uh, please come visit my website at trayhatch.com for more recipes and for tips from my body piece coaching. Thanks for watching.